Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today let's brew our Columbia Aponte Village honey process as a filter offering. All right, uh, Aponte Village, a staple, and I feel like every single year I say that I love this year's offering even more than I did last year. Um, this year's offering is a little nostalgic, uh, and I'll talk about that in just a minute, but I really loved it in our standard Cafe Kalita recipe. So this is 25 grams of coffee ground medium to medium fine, with 400 grams of water set to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've got my Kalita, gram scale, coffee ground. This was ground at um, 11 on your Barazza Encore. This will be about 20 or 21 on your Commandante C40. And this was one and two thirds on the um, fellow Ode grinder. All right, uh, let's get brewing. So first things first, let's wet our paper filter. I always like to just hold each side of the paper, pour straight into the middle, let this water rise up and heat this brewer. I'll let it get about halfway, maybe two thirds, whenever it looks like the capillary action in that filter is gonna um, wet the entire paper. I'll put that kettle back on my heating pad. Let this water drain through and then let's dump it. Um, the Cafe Kalita recipe, or the Onyx Kalita recipe, is my go-to for a lot of coffees that in themselves are already really balanced. It's gonna give us great texture, great sweetness, and nice balanced acidity, which this coffee already has, and so it just accentuates all of those um, great features. So, scale is teared, stopwatch is ready to go. And let's start brewing. So, start our timer. Light bloom between 40 and 60 grams. I'm usually fully saturated at around 50. Let this rest for 30 seconds. Now, 30 seconds, heavy pour, start in the middle, evenly spiral outwards to around 160. This is gonna raise our water level, increase our flow rate, Give it, set the stage for our sweetness and acidity. Boom, heavy in the middle. Start to spiral outwards. I'm pouring about as heavy as this kettle is gonna let me. And then at 45 seconds, a 60 gram pour. This is gonna take me to 220. Drop heavy in the middle. Again, even spiral. And now I'm just watching this water level. Where you rose that water just now is where I want to pretty much keep it. And so when I can fit another 60 grams in there, which is here at about 105, drop heavy in the middle, slowly spiral. And again, I'm pretty much pouring as heavy as this kettle's gonna let me. Keeping our water level high is gonna keep our thermal mass stable and it's going to keep our flow rate steady, especially in the Kalita keeping this, your water level high, it's gonna increase flow rate. Here at 130, let's hit it again. This time to 340. Now you see me hitting around these edges. I'm trying not to pour on the outside edge of this filter. I'm trying to rinse any coffee particles from the inside edges. As coffee's a little fast, here at 150, I'm gonna finish off my brew. Be careful, I only want to reach 400. There we go. So total drain time for this brew should be around three minutes, um, plus or minus about 20 seconds with this coffee. If we drain too fast, it's gonna be really tart, um, kind of like fruit skin. If we drain too slowly, uh, it takes too long, extract too much, then we get this kind of baker's chocolate finish and um, that kind of drying, uh, cocoa powder feeling kind of carries throughout the whole cup. But when we have drained well and we get a balanced cup of coffee, it tastes like uh, cherry, even up to dark cherry. Um, it's floral honey sweetness. We get this malt chocolate um, and it's a very well balanced coffee. Uh, that cherry and chocolate note remind me, uh, if you're an, an Onyx Legacy, you may remember Ozark Copper. 
uh, which was kind of with very cherry forward. Um, and Aponte used to be a really big part of that back in the day. So this coffee is very um, nostalgic in its flavor profile to me. Maybe that's why I love it so much. There at 305, we finished dripping out. Um, really enjoy this coffee. It's gonna carry well with um, a little bit of cream and sugar if people need that, um, if brewed as a batch brew. Very approachable, um, but very smooth, balanced, and can be very exciting with those floral notes in addition to that cherry fruit note. Serve and enjoy. <laughs>